Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I like to create defined waves in my hair. I'm going to be using Tresemme's heat protectant to protect my hair from the heat that I'll be using. I'm going to be spraying that all over my head from the roots to the tips. I'm then going to brush out any knots so that it's easier for me to wave. I'm going to be using Babyliss Pro's curling wand on heat setting 25 which is the hottest heat setting. I'm going to be using crocodile hair clips to prevent any kinks and it holds my hair really well. I'm going to start sectioning off my hair from both ears all the way to the back and clip the top section up so I'm left with the bottom layers of my hair. So now that I'm left with the bottom layers of my hair, you can see from the back, it doesn't have to be perfectly parsed. I'm going to be using L'Oreal El Nets hairspray. It's a lacquer hairspray, so it doesn't weigh the hair down, so I've heard. And um, it's really good, it's a flexible one, and it seems to hold my waves and curls depending on what I do with my hair all the time. Um, okay, now when you're using the wand, if you hold it horizontally, it holds the curl and wave and it's more defined if that makes sense it's a stronger curler wave whereas if you hold it vertically it's a much looser curler wave so for this particular tutorial I'm going to be using it on an angle so I'm going to be wrapping away from my face just because it's easy when I'm looking in the mirror but you can alternate it if you don't want it to look too all the same I guess so I'm just going to be wrapping away from my face, holding it half kind of on an angle, just so it's not too defined. And I'm wrapping it on the wand quite far apart, if that makes sense. Every time I wind it up, it's not close together. So it's not a tight wave or curl, so that it ends up looking like a wave. I'm then going to hairspray each section and then there you go I've got my bottom section done. I'm then going to section off my hair on the sides of my head all the way from the back poking through to the front just above my ears where I want to section off because I find it easier later on when I'm sectioning off the back of my hair. I'm then going to keep waving my hair with my wand. So when you do like wave your hair with the wand, just wrap it around as it is. Don't lay the hair flat on the wand because you can end up looking like Shirley Temple. And I'll show you now, I'll wrap it around the wand all flat. As you can see it's flat on the wand. And there you go, it's more like a Shirley Temple piglet kind of curl, not piglet curl but like you know the pigtails so just wrap it around um, as is even if it's if it's twisted and you wrap it around twisted around the wand it won't end up looking like Shirley Temple curls So now this is when you want to start sectioning off the path you want. I like it down the middle so now I'm going to start sectioning it down the middle. If you want it on the side this is where you section it off to the side, pass it to the side. I'm just going to brush it out and clip it out the way and then start on the one side. I'm 
I'm wrapping away from my face, specifically at the top of my head. And I don't like to curl or wave my hair too close to the roots of my head because I don't want it to be too puffy. I just want it to be a defined wave, um, halfway kind of down my head if that makes sense. When I curl my hair using this curling wand, I go closer to the scalp. So now I'm going to do the front part of my um, hair. And I'm going to start it lower than what I do normally compared to the rest of my hair because I don't want the wave to start at the top too close to the root so I do it halfway down my face and I do it quite loose because it is near my face I don't want it to be a huge curl slash wave So now I'm going to do the same as what I did on the other side. Use the curling wand a bit lower than usual, just so it's not too much around the face. And yet you do get that. I usually just stop, let it cool and then retry. So to prevent it from being so flat, as you could see before, I'm going to just use the curling wand, like the base of the curl, I mean the base of the wand where it's thicker, just underneath some of the hair, so I'm just going to section it off and just hold it underneath and then keep lifting it. So there's a bit of a... Bit of These are waves slash curls actually. They're more so waves. I don't know, I would consider these waves because they're not like ringlet. Why is the light in funny? Anyway, so that's how I created. I don't know why the lighting's funny. So that's how I like to get just to find waves. Okay guys, so that's how I like to create defined waves. As you can see, the lighting is pretty bad. Um, you can't exactly see it, but I'll try to add photos at the end. Um, I find that curls are more ringlet, so I like to call these waves because they're a bit more defined, but that's how I like to create my defined waves. If I want it more loose and less looking like it's a curl, I'll take larger sections and um, wave them large with large sections and it looks more wavy if that makes sense don't forget to um, use hairspray I find that it helps keep the waves and curls in place and um, yeah I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching